Hey everyone, Brian with WorkshopAddict.com and we are now deeper into the DeWalt shelving systems. DeWalt specifically calls these DeWalt Titan Industrial Racks. So they're large, they're heavy, and there's a significant difference between the DXST 10,000 and the DXST 4500 that we have next to each other. Specifically, it's basically size and build quality. This larger model can hold 10,000 pounds if it's equally distributed. That's 2,500 pounds per shelf. That's significant. This smaller one will hold 4,500 pounds, 1,500 pounds per shelf, as long as it's equally distributed throughout the whole shelving system. 18 inches wide on the small one, 24 inches wide on the larger one. Now, that's a significant size difference. And I'm gonna tell you, I had a hard time try, trying to judge which model that I wanted to pick up. And that's why I decided to do this video for you guys to give you an idea of the size differences first and then what they're gonna hold and what they come with. So first to start off, the larger unit, as we said, 10,000 pound capacity, 72 inches tall, 77 inches wide, 24 inches deep. It comes with one laminated shelf and three other kind of they're a mesh or a screen shelving systems. They are a different system than the smaller one. So you might find a few different things that you could connect up between them, uh, but basically anything that you're gonna buy is gonna be made specifically for this model. You cannot stack these on top of each other, or at least they don't come with what you need to stack them on top of each other. Currently, they do come with a nice wall mount. This clips in behind the shelving system and allows you to adjust how far away from the wall it will be and stops the shelf from flipping or tipping over. Now, I will tell you that this large shelf is probably best handled with two people, especially you know picking it up in the store, getting it delivered, or even putting it together. This is a, he a heavy shelving system, and you, know, you can pick up one end, and you can drag it around yourself, and it is very possible to assemble it yourself, but the reality is, is it's heavy. So if you want to make it easier, grab a second person. Now, actually going through the assembly, super easy, and it doesn't take any tools, everything's supplied, and there really is nothing to adjusting it. These shelves will adjust up and down in two and three eighths inch increments. Nothing is set in stone. The only thing that holds them in place is this pin. So you can move this pin out, give it a little pop, and that piece will come out and it will be allowed to move around and go into any one of these other holes. If you bought multiple of these shelves and didn't want to have four here, you could flip them around, connect up another set of shelving units and just make them longer along the wall. One thing I have not found yet is that you can buy a single shelf. That would be interesting because then you could buy one unit, buy a couple more shelves in another unit and essentially have three units but probably have less into it. This model right now is about $229 which I thought, ooh, it's getting up there in price. And some people in our last video said, hey, why don't you build these? Simple, because I can buy these for almost less than what I can build them. They'll never look the same. They'll never have the same factor that I want as a clean garage. And two, I'm gonna spend my time building something I can't buy, especially when I'm putting you know, this amount into it. My time's worth more than what this is, and this is a lot better build quality adjustability and movability than what I would end up building. So if you're looking for something that's large, this is your model. Now if you have a smaller garage and you're looking for something that you're not going to hoist up to six foot, this four foot model is nice. It, it's, you can stack it so it can go up to eight foot tall. Specifically this one is 47 inches tall so it's a hair shy of four foot, 49 and a half inches wide and 18 inches deep. They make two models. This model is $112 and it has the three laminated shelves. So they're solid shelves. If you did spill something on it, it's not gonna go down to the, you know, everything stored below it. It is the same basic construction, just a little bit narrower on the uprights. So it's not gonna take as much weight. Same type of two and three eighths inch movement of the shelves up and down. And this one too is specifically shown on the box that you can spread them out, 
you know, if you wanted to have two shelves on one, a shelf in between, or if you watch a little bit longer, I found some gems for these things that are going to make these really cool. Uh, same type of system if you want to connect it to the wall. Everything's here in this unit is more affordable. If you want to go with the wire mesh here, you're going to come down to approximately $99 a unit. And they look nice. They're the right size. If you have something that's heavy and you want to pick it up, do you want to bring it to four foot? Do you want to bring it to six foot? But I really think that the width or the depth is what's going to start to get to people. Do you have 24 inches or two feet to give up in your garage while most people can find a spot to give up a foot and a half? So that's where I think this shines, even if you were to stack them. Assembling the smaller unit is super simple as it's a lot lighter weight. In fact, even just moving around the box, it feels about a quarter of the weight of the other one. Not that it's any less sturdy. It definitely is the same sturdiness. It just doesn't have the amount of metal that you have in the much larger unit. It would be a tough call if I had to pick between the two of them and just pick one. Uh, what would I do? Would I pick up two of these and stack them if I had the room? It's very similar to some of the other rolling models that I have. And these are not meant to be rolling. You can probably mount casters on the bottom, but they are a glass filled nylon on the bottom for a shoe. So they don't slide around really well. Uh, they're meant to stay in place. I don't know, it's all about space and what you need. And that's what it comes down to. So if you see this unit for 229 and you go, wow, that's a lot more expensive than one that's just a little bit smaller. I hope this video shows you that it's significantly smaller and you're getting everything that you're gonna pay for to get this larger unit. I can't imagine stacking 10,000 pounds on it. That would just be so much stuff. I don't know what you could have that would actually be that much weight. It, it sure would be interesting to see. We are going to continue to add on some more things that are hard to find. So I've been looking and searching for cool items to put on both of these. I'm going to show you where to get them, show you where they are out there. They're not at the most popular stores like the Home Depot, but you can find these things and they are super cool. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. Give us a like in this video. Watch us on social media. We have a lot of cool things going on out there and a ton of giveaways going on on this YouTube channel. As always, we thank you for your time. Have a great day.